Thomas, and I'm with Kathy Gabriel, and Kathy is an absolute expert in Greek cuisine, and she's one of the major uh, movers and shakers at the Greek festival coming up. June 24th, 25th, and 26th. All right, and that's at St. Paul's? Yes, it is in Irvine. And you're going to show us how to make one of my favorite Greek desserts. And one of mine. I just love it. Say it for me. Galatoburiko. <laughs> Galatoburiko. Oh, it sounds easy the way you say it. <laughs> How do we start? We start by making a sugar syrup that's laced with lemon. All right, so we're going to do the sugar we're syrup. We're going to do the sugar syrup All right now, and we are putting three cups of sugar and two cups of water. Easy so far. Very easy. All right, so we want to bring this up to a boil? We do. Now we're going to add the juice of one lemon. All right. And that acidity is also going to stop our sugar from crystallization. And do you want to just simmer this at this point? Yes. Now turn it down to a simmer, and we're going to simmer for 15 minutes. And while that's simmering, we can get started on the custard. This All is right. about a cup and, and this, a quarter. This is your semolina flour. This is the semolina flour. Right. Some people use cream of wheat. Don't use cream of wheat. No cream of wheat. No, because this is so fine. That's what makes the custard so good. Ah, that's a little secret. Uh -huh. All right. It is. And then some granulated sugar. And now, if you will slowly pour that oh, milk in here I for me. I love to be your assistant. You're happy? I'm happy. You're good. Oh, good. You're good. Okay. You've got a really nice wooden spoon. It's my mother-in-law's wooden spoon, and she taught me how to make a la Oh, that's so great. So this is the magic spoon for All me. All right. And I noticed that you're going down and you're including the edge of the pan there because that's important it to get a, the full surface. Yes, and we, and we don't want it to stick because right. you know how fast that custard can stick to the bottom mm -hmm. of a pan. Mm -hmm. All right, we are now ready for our egg. We want to temper these eggs, which means to slowly heat them up. Yes, absolutely. So now we're going to go ahead and we'll put the eggs in. And it looks like it's going to be just perfect. We are just going to stir this until it gets nice and thick. And so now we're going to add the vanilla and lemon zest. And we're going to stir. So now the phyllo and you've defrosted this overnight yes. in the fridge? I leave it in the refrigerator overnight mm -hmm. and then I take it out a couple of hours before I'm going to use it. That's mm -hmm. the best way to defrost phyllo. Don't ever, ever put it in the microwave, microwave oven or you will have to throw the whole pound in the trash. Right. So I cut it in half. I'm going to open it up. Then I usually just lay my knife here. I fold it in half mm -hmm. like this mm -hmm. and I cut. And that's how I get the squares. We will put a square out on our board. Right. And we're going to butter our phyllo. And we don't need to drench it. If we drench it, it's going to be a little harder to work with. We're going to do three of these squares on top of each other. Here goes number two. Number two. Want to butter? Uh, butter. And now our custard. And this is cold. This is cold right now. About the size of a large egg. And you don't put it in the middle, you put it a little below I, the middle. I do. And, and then I, I leave my sides right. because I want to be able to fold them in. And then we're going to wrap it. And when we wrap it, we're not going to wrap it too tight because if we do, it'll just explode. So you want a loosey-goosey. We do. So what I do is I kind of lift with each oh. roll and that keeps it just perfect. And then we lay it on our pan. Okay. So these are all ready to go into the oven, except, except a little bit more butter. We're going to use a little bit more butter. I think it helps with the browning process, and more butter never hurts anything. Out of the oven. Out of the They're oven. They're gorgeous. Don't they look beautiful? Oh, they look gorgeous. So right now, as soon as yeah. they come out, right? we are going to pour a little more syrup. And mm -hmm. always remember, we pour cold syrup on hot pastry. Got it and then we'll plate. Do you like to serve they're... these warm? I do, I do, but they're, they're good, Whatever. just lukewarm too. Right. They really are, they're good both ways. Kathy, I really, really appreciate you coming here today and giving us a little 
preview of the taste of the festival. Well, I really appreciate getting to share this recipe with you and all of the people who read your column. And I say I'm bon appetit and you say... And I say caliorexi. Good appetite. Caliorexi. Si. All yes. right. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you.